Today, guys, today we have Acer Nitro XV2 series gaming monitor right here. We're going to be comparing it with a normal 144Hz monitor. Why is this one different? This one is HDR. It have the HDR400, which is some um, high dynamic range right here. The, the image projected and the color projected is so beautiful. And I'll be comparing it for you guys today. So, what are the function of this monitor? Let's dive in, shall we? Firstly, we have um, the, this monitor is running at 2560 times 1440 right here, or 2K. Right, it have the Versa Display HDR400. It got a free sync and compatible with G Sync. And it have a one millisecond virtual response boost, 144 hertz, and these are all color related: DCI-P3, IPS, and Delta E2. All right. With that said, let's look into it. Firstly, we're gonna compare the still image. All right. Now, if you got um these. One right here. Oh, actually, I want to go over the function that this one have first before we comparing anything. The function here is accessed by this panel or the button behind the monitor. Now I'm going to tilt it a little bit so you guys can see better. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see it? It's right here. This, this button right here is a pressable button along with these three button and another one right here up here so they are one two three four five five button in total this one is rotatable and pushable right here it's like analog stick that you have on your xbox just want to make sure that you guys can see them um clearly right here okay i'm zooming in all right with that said it's very easy to navigate <laughs> Firstly, you click on the knob that I said, click it on like an analog stick, boom, bringing up this menu right here. So firstly, we'll go over the mode first. Oops, must have pressed the wrong thing. Nani? Okay, there we go. So these are all the modes that they have right here. User mode, this is your own customizable mode right here that, they, uh, that you, you, you can do right here. So you can configure whatever you want and it will save on the user mode. Next one, sport mode. For watching sport or playing sport game. Racing mode. Okay, for playing racing game. Action mode is for FPS. FPS related game. Standard is factory default. Um, that come from the factory right here. Eco mode, not really recommended, but if you want to go eco, oh, so be it. Graphic mode, this is for people that like using for graphic or doing arts on tablet and things like that. Definitely recommend this one. And the lastly is the HDR mode, the most recommended mode that I will be using for most of my time here. Which you can access by pressing mode, boom, HDR. You see that the screen actually blink. That that means the HDR is now active. Comparing with non HDR right here, you can see that this iceberg right here. Oh, I'm not gonna call it iceberg. I'm sorry. I watch too much Titanic. This this um rock mountain, little rock mountain right here is um much more detailed in color than the non HDR one. I'm not really sure if you can tell, but here is the image right here. Okay, I'm moving on. So we're going into the menu. This is the auto menu function that we have right now. Picture. See, we have a super sharpness on and HDR on auto. I recommend you change the HDR to HDR 400 for maximum performance on this monitor. Okay, with that said, that's okay. Super sharpness is on and uh, you should leave that on. As for the color, it will say HDR right here, mode on top, lead you back to the mode thing. 
right there. We're not gonna do anything with it. Next one. I'm sorry, I must have pressed the wrong thing. Okay. I must have pressed the wrong thing right here. So we're gonna go back on this monitor. Mm, exit, there we go. And go to menu, boom. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, the audio, this from the mode right here. We are looking at audio, boom. This is 100 volume right here. Actually, the, the built-in speaker is really good. We'll be testing that later, okay? After the color, we're going to gaming mode. Now, this is the important part. Overdrive, you have normal, auto, and off. Extreme mean that it will push the millisecond, the refresh rate as as low as possible, even lower than one millisecond or one millisecond or like it will be constantly at one millisecond refresh rate. This one doesn't guarantee it. This one have virtual response boost, which is actually very interesting. Okay, let's see. Down here, menu. Gaming mode. What else do we have here? Freezing, of course. This one come as on as default, so you don't have to change that. Refresh rate number will show you the refresh rate of the monitor. Let's turn that on. Boop. I'll show you. I'll show you how it look like. But usually, you turn it off, and you can actually <laughs> enable a cursor. <laughs> one, two, or three. <laughs> These cursor are fixed cursor, so you you can definitely pinpoint the middle. <laughs> of the screen itself look right dead in the middle 144 hertz right there oh boy what your joy oh you think apex legend cursor is doo-doo well, let's try this out dude i think that's gonna be great okay with that said let's just go down here boom boop boop uh aim point off like I said, refresh rate number off as well. Thank you. And what we're going to do is that we go down here. We find OSD. We don't need anything on that. Let's look at the system right here. It will tell you what you're connected on. Auto source, blah, blah, blah. Not important. This one is quick start mode. It come preset with off, but I turn it on. Power off USB charge mean that even though your computer is turned off, it will charge your USB device connected to this monitor. How awesome is that? Pretty awesome. All right. Now, I did a, a static, um, static picture reveal. I'm going to do another one. Okay. Let's look at this one. I like, I like this one. So another static uh, comparison between these uh, picture right here. These are uh, very high detail picture that I have um, downloaded. So yeah, you can make sure that these are pretty true to that color. I really, really like the the freshness in this one my, with my bare eyes. This one is definitely looking so much fresher in terms of its brightness, its color. It just look like it come to life. This one look comparably bland. I don't know if you can actually see it in the video itself, but it does look blander than this one. This one, the color just look like it's coming to life. The red look looks so much like an apple red right here, which is like so awesome. All right. With that said, we're moving on to the video comparison. This video is in 1440p, 60, 60fps, 60 HD. Let's compare between these two monitor right now. By the way, uh, this monitor on my left, the maximum, maximum, um, what is it again? The maximum is HD though, but these are on, so 920p times uh, 1080p. This is the maximum for this left monitor right here. This one is two two 
times uh, 1440. I'm sorry, 1560 times 1440 on this one. Okay? I'll let you see the benchmark for now. So I can see that the lighting on the um, on the right one is much more clearer and and nicer. Even though I'm looking through the um, through the video or through the phone right here. Gonna go on to another game. I want to, you to see a different game. I don't want you just to see one game. I want you to feel like you're experiencing many games on this monitor. And you can look at all the colors and compare them in different games. Each game they will have their own like, you know, this one on the right is with HDR. This one that doesn't have HDR right there. Whoa. So nice though. The HDR is really... By the way, if you have Xbox One, the HDR will work with the monitor. It supports HDR. So Xbox One X, I highly recommend that. Paired with the HDR. Okay, Witcher. Okay, Witcher is gonna be the last game. Yeah, much, much clearer on the right though. On the HDR side, I just feel like it's immersive. So this is the Aether. Nitro XV2 series and the computer that I'm using this is the Acer Nitro 50 right here Okay, that's ending the video testing now for the last one. We are doing the game testing Where are we gonna open PUBG? And we're gonna play PUBG live and compare these two monitor live right here We just have to wait for PUBG to load. None this guy. What? <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the window um, game bar causing this. If you guys know, leave the comment below. Okay, we're using the high preset on this monitor right here. Both of them on high preset. Okay, these are duplicate display. We're gonna drop Sunhawk and we are going right on in. Okay? So you can see within the game how it looked like. Right here, see? <clears throat> okay, so we're seeing two tractor right now. I think I better see something else. <laughs> let's let's go see something else. Maybe the beach. Maybe the water. Yeah, yeah, boy. Actually, this is better. It's much better scenery than the tractor. But if you like tractor, hey, good on you. Good on us. So let's see. Zooming in on this one. It's a scenery of the beach with running on 165 FPS right now. Very nice though, very nice on that. Hmm, lovely. Very lovely. Hmm. 
Okay. Okay. We'll play um, a quick one mash right here. This is the map. I'm gonna go out. You can see that this one, even though like I'm further away, the color projection is still still there, much clearer than the one on the left. So yeah, the HDR really shines through right here. Okay, I'm gonna drop now. I'm gonna go somewhere. I don't even know where, but let's go. I don't know. That building sound good to me. I don't even know. I think it's called boot camp. Boot camp. Yes, boot camp is where all the sweaty try hardest. It's like Tilted Tower in Fortnite. Same, same thing. Let's go. Playing with one hand. Like, so I have to. <laughs> um, if I die, that will be the end of the game. Man, I hate this guy. This guy's gonna land before me. No, he's taking the big, the big shack. I'm doomed. Oh great, AK saved me. Save me, AK. Dang it, AK, you're dead. You're dead. Good gracious, I should have used two hand on that. I couldn't move and and press F with one hand. I was doing this. I was trying to press F with my um, little finger right there, but nope. Mm, pinky finger. Nope, not happening. Well, that's that's what it is. So I have showcased that. Um, yeah. So PUBG running right here. High preset, very very nice. So yeah, I hope that you um, get all the comparison and all the function of this uh, Acer Nitro XV2 series. I just want to thank you both PUBG and Acer Predator for sponsoring this video. Um, thank you to both of them. And this is the sound. The music is 100% right here. Very good speaker. Definitely um, playable with, without like you know having to buy the speaker the speaker coming out of here is sufficient okay it's sufficient all right and with that said i'm gonna end the video here thank you so much and hope that you stay tuned on on this channel i'll see you guys next time bye bye